Welcome, welcome everybody. Thanks for joining our show. I'm Matt. I'm Lily. And this is... That's Cool, where we can't stop, won't stop talking about stuff. All right, all right. So uh, I'm super excited to have everybody back again. This is our third installment, and I'm so happy to see how many people have listened to our podcast and have uh, provided us some feedback. So thank you, thank you to all of our fans. So, Lily, let's uh, get going. I didn't, uh, unfortunately, I have to admit, I didn't do my homework this week, and I did not bring a topic. I did, and I, I always do. You never do your homework. Well, that's that's true, too. <laughs> and speaking of homework, I don't think you did yours. Didn't you have math or something to do? I did my math. All right, so we figure out that... That's why the podcast is so late. All right, this is true. You told me that this episode, though, is going to be really, really amazing. No, 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 no. You're doing it really, really wrong. All right. It's wonderful extraordinary and it's very 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 important all right so that's cool so it must be about football <laughs> no all right so hockey no, basketball no. all right uh, you've got well I'm actually about basketball i think it's basketball it could be it could be any other sport i don't know if it's basketball or not but it's this person performed at age 11, actually my age, at a Philadelphia 76ers game. What is actually a 76ers? Does that just mean like there the play there's 76 players on the team or they're each 76-year-old? No no. no, 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 no. So the <laughs> Philadelphia 76ers are a, a basketball team and they're a rival to my beloved Celtics, Boston Celtics. To answer your question... They were named to reference the signing of the Declaration of Independence, which happened in the city of Philadelphia. Interesting fact. Uh, so you're telling me that this is not about football. It's about basketball, but not about basketball. And it's just about somebody who sang when they were 11. I, I, I'm stumped. I have no idea. W what are we talking about? Taylor Swift. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. You know that person who I like can't stop talking about? Can't stop, won't stop talking about. <laughs> you continuously talk about her, sing about her. Yeah, I, it's a thing. And I don't sing not, about her. I sing her song. Sing her song. And you're not the only one because all over the news, all over every tabloid, that's all you see is Taylor Swift. So What's a tabloid? You know, the, the, you know, the magazines that, that mom reads and all that. Oh, books, oh, oh, you, you like know, a know. magazine, not a tabloid. Yeah, well, I, I, I use them interchangeably. So tabloid... Is a tabloid a t term when you were young? Oh, here we go again with the age thing. Let's get, let's move it on. So anyway, so Taylor Swift. Tell me a little bit about Taylor Swift, where she's from. Why is she so popular? Because everybody, especially with this new tour that she's, she's got going from on, she's West, breaking records. She's, and, yeah, she is breaking re records, but she's from West... Reading, Pennsylvania. Maybe she liked reading. West Reading. <laughs> West, <laughs> ha -ha, joke. West Reading, Pennsylvania. So, I thought that she was from Nashville. No, well, I was wrong. No, well, that's where she, she got her start. Oh, because she is she is country, or she came out and she was country, which that's when I liked her back then. And not that I don't like her now. I'm just saying that that type of music was my. All right, I'll just I'll just be quiet now before I Good. get in trouble. Good. I'll I'll do all the talking at this pop. At on this podcast. All right, the floor is yours. So what okay. else about Taylor? So we are going to be talking about. Um, so before you said, well, I don't think you said on the podcast. I don't remember, but she doesn't actually have a new album. This is one of her old albums, Taylor Swift's old albums. But wait, I have to say something before we go into this. So Taylor Swift. So we are on a bunch of different apps. And we are on Spotify. This is one that I absolutely know that she's on. The others, I don't really know. But this one, I know she has, like, an account or whatever on Spotify. She could be, like, looking at her new releases. Not, like, her albums or whatever. But, like, and we could be on there being like, hmm, I wonder what That's Cool is. Yeah, season one, episode That's three. It's our new release. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's We're not on tour, not yet, but she could be looking at her account. Yeah, and be like, hmm, I was, I was mentioned a bunch of times in That's Cool. And she could be like, 
hmm, I would better go check this out. And, and, and if you're out there, Taylor, hi, Taylor Swift. Hi. Well, ah, I can't believe. That. Hello, hello, Taylor. Anyway, so so yeah, we are on a, a bunch of different. Uh, we're I can't, on all I the major like, podcast on, apps. I can't believe like we're on Spotify where Taylor Swift is. All right, and I'm talking really sp- fast. Um, <laughs> so like I was saying before, so she doesn't actually have a new release. She released all of her albums. I will name them right now: Taylor Swift, Fearless, Speak Now. Red, 1989, Reputation, Lover, Folklore, Evermore, and Midnight's 10 albums. I know. Crazy. It is a lot of albums because she's, I think she's only, it says here she's only 33 years old. She's only 33. And she released 10 albums, and that's quite a bit. And she, she actually, looking back here, I, I just wanted to roll back real quick because she's from Reading, Pennsylvania. Then you said she moved to Tennessee. And it's really interesting that her parents up and moved her family from Pennsylvania to Tennessee or to near Nashville so that she could, you know, go after her dreams. And they made the right decision because it seems like she, she's she's nailed it. Um, and going back to country, her first single yeah, was they the were... one that you tricked me on because you you know I like country music. And then I'll, you were like, hey, do you want to hear? And I was like, I don't want to hear any more Taylor Swift. You're like, all right, I'll play this country artist. Called Tim McGraw, which Tim, and I'm like, he all right, loves. play Tim McGraw, and I went. You went to play Tim McGraw, and it was not Tim McGraw. And no, 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 no. I tricked you. You were like, hmm, Tim McGraw's voice sounds really high pitched in this. It, it, it was. It was really good. It was a really good melody and tune. But and Tim I, McGraw was not in. I usually lie. play it on Alexa in the kitchen, and he'll be like, ki- kitcheningin' it up, cooking, you know, and he'll be like on his on his on the counter, be like. That's my chopping block when I'm chopping my <laughs> onions and stuff. That's actually not how the tune goes, but just, I can't, I don't know, I can't name it off the top of my head. But uh, I can name, like, her songs. All right, like, enough oh, about my food, even though it's <laughs> delicious. <laughs> eh. Um, So, eh, yeah, here we well, go. I mean, it is. So but. that so that was her, so she reached the top ten on country charts yeah. in 2006. So I, I, still have to, I still have to finish my story. All right. I'm sorry. But, so she released all of her albums, I named those before, but... Lover, Folklore, Evermore, and Midnight's, those were own that those are owned by her. But Taylor Swift, Fearless, Speak Now, Red, and 1989 and Reputation, those those she uh released on Big Red Machine and and they sold them to Scooter Braun. Yeah, I heard about that guy. You were telling me that he uh, kind of deceived her, or there was some shenanigans going on there. Yeah, and he wasn't nice. And you know, and you know, she's on this interview, and it's like, now let's talk about Scooter Braun, and she's like, ugh. <laughs> that and, and that's kind of how she was about John Mayer too, right? That's when I try to play John Mayer in the car, and then I get, a, hey, turn it off, not allowed in our car. No, and I'm no, like, no, what no. is happening, right? No, it's not that. So she not like an ex boyfriend because she yeah everybody's everybody says that dear John in the album Speak Now is about John Mayer, but that's technically sh- true. She never actually said it, but she like implied it, and at one of her concerts, and she's like, "We have to be nice to John Mayer, even if we're still nice to him. We just don't want to hear his music." <laughs> yeah, and so what I, I don't get that how that is nice, but mom well, says it is. Well, what I found out is that do not cross Taylor Swift because there is an allegiance and an army of Swifties. Apparently, is what they're called. Swifties, yes. Which you were called, and, and you know and what? You, you, you know just what don't, don't cross want? Taylor. Well, All right. so is that her state? Is that a stage wait. name, by the way, Taylor Swift? Because it sounds like stagey, like she created that. No. That's her, her real is, name? Yeah, her name is Taylor Allison Swift. Oh, all right. Well, that tricked can me. I because... just, can I just say something about Olivia Rodrigo? You got it. I especially like the song Deja Vu by Olivia Rodrigo because there's some there's some beef with Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo there. Beef. All right, we're getting uh, Cause, deep here. Because Cruel Summer, the beat to that is like, it goes like, it's not like actually, but... It's not like that beat, but like it goes like da da da, da and then it goes like kind of like da da, da 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 and Olivia Rodrigo's song goes da 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 da
and but it's hard to it's not hard to tell like if you play them at the same time yeah it's like the easiest thing to tell hmm so you think she stole her music no i don't think i know all right all right and I, well and cuz they had cuz cuz they had this whole suing process and everything oh lawsuits lawsuits aren't good but you know no, I, the one cool fact though no, you talk not. about you talk about music if she did steal then it was stolen from her because Taylor Swift apparently writes and like produces her own music, which most artists today don't, and they have like ghostwriters and things like that. But I guess Taylor does all her own music, and she's actually written for other major artists as well, and 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 did some compilations and and uh, different things. So she's a very very talented uh, artist, and she actually plays multiple instruments like piano and what ukulele and guitar. Um, so she's... don't forget about oh, um she plays she I actually can name all of them. <laughs> Guitar, piano, ukulele, electric guitar, and banjo. Banjo. All right. See, that, that banjo, that's kind of back to country. Banjo, y'all. See, that's going back to the country roots. She's <laughs> actually a t- a, a, on TV. I, I, I've seen her near people, and she's I didn't realize how tall she is. She's almost six feet. I know. She's a 5'11". Wow. Oh, I'm and I knew that off my head. Matt's, I, trying, to, Matt's trying to show the notes like, oh, he, here's, here's the... Um, the uh the height and I'm like so I, don't have I to know feed these I'm like I know that off my head yeah, off no. the top of my head I all mean right, all right you can't trick me here all right so she has a ton of accomplishments obviously and, and being 33 years old and she already has 12 Grammy awards that, and that's 58 insane. Guinness Book of World Records she holds 58. No, actually, I, I think I looked this up. It was fifty-eight, but it's more, even more than that. I, I saw a bunch of different numbers up to a hundred, but you know, actually, she, she has a ton of, and she keeps doing doing it every other week, so you can't even keep track of the number. It's a lot. <laughs> you know, actually, I have Guinness Book of World Records twenty twenty-two. She's in there for Folklore and Evermore. They were like a month apart release. Yeah, and she actually. Look at this. I have a little list here, but I'm not going to go crazy with it. But most viewed music video online by a female artist, Shake It Off. Yeah, because that's everybody knows that song. I mean, I mean, you you probably don't know it by the name, but it goes, Shake It Off. I, I, I shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> hey, 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 just think what you've been getting down and up of the lies and the dirty, dirty cheese in the world. You could have been getting down to this sick beat. My ex-man brought his new girlfriend. She's like, oh my god. But I'm just gonna shake into the fellow over there with the hella good hair. Why don't you come on over, baby? We can shake. What shake, ju- shake. What, 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 yeah. What, oh! Cause, cause what, all right, what, what just happened? You just stole my mic. You stole my studio. <laughs> you just kicked me out and just started blah, 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 blah about something. <laughs> I have mean? no idea. What, what, what do you mean, blah, blah, shaking, blah? Shaking, shaking, ding, ding, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Bl- I don't know. What, it's what, not blah, blah, blah. All right. But, but it's amazing song. But you know what? What's pretty cool about Shake It Off because I saw this on the news. I'm not even reading this off a of paper. Just she so you did know. something in Seattle. Well, she didn't do something in Seattle. Seattle. She sang her song at a concert, and apparently, and it caused what they call a swift shake. A swift quake. Swift. I guess they were doing the swift shake, and it caused a swift quake, <laughs> which was actually people thought it was an actually an earthquake, and it registered on like the Richter scale, like two point something. I think it was like two point three, two point four. Yeah, like craziness, like that. That many people dancing at one time had I the equivalency that hap- of. A, I wish of that an happened earthquake. to me when I was in the fifth, fifth row, Gillette Stadium, night two, the rainy night. Yeah, you and mom went, and uh, that was yeah, so chaotic. it was so fun, and you know. At midnight, it was raining, so we could count that as midnight. Let's keep going here. Um, so her Eras tour, which she's on now, is already the highest grossing tour of all time. And I, I guess she has dates all over overseas. She's talking about like moving this into next year. It's so popular. Um, I like. I really, really, really want to go to the Paris one because I think she's gonna sing Paris and Death by a Thousand Cuts. And Paris is one of her songs, and Death by a Thousand Cuts, she released one live from Paris, and I want her to sing both of those for her surprise songs. I, 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 yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to follow along, pay attention, I don't know what you're talking about. She sings about. 44 songs, and two of them are surprise. 
So at each concert, it's a different song? That's you surprising each people? Each concert, there's two different songs. Huh. At my concert, it was Invisible in Question. Hmm. Very cool. Well, Invisible in her first album, Question in her Midnight's album, which is her last album. Hey, speaking of that, about this era's tour, she actually, she's just going another step further because some, it, it was expensive, right? So, and a lot of people just couldn't make the show. But she's doing something else. She's coming over and doing a tour video, which is going to be on the big screen at AMC I'm Theaters. I'm watching it. And this is going to be such I'm an it. epic movie. O- October 12th or October... What's that? October 13th, which is actually... Why, is it, why the 13th? Wait, that's Friday the 13th, because I'm a horror fan. I love horror movies. And actually, my... Wait, why the 13th? Because she loves 13. Can I can I just say something? You can you can you can try. I might <laughs> I might mute you, but go ahead. Her birthday is December thirteenth, nineteen eighty nine. Album nineteen eighty nine. Ah, hint, that's hint, for the nineteen eighty nine album. Hint, okay. Hint, you know. Thirteen. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's move on. So she she's the movie's coming out and uh, and, and wait, actually wait, it bumped wait, 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 it bumped wait, some wait. Hollywood movies out of the theater and they had to readjust. The release dates of the Hollywood because they, go they don't want to go against Taylor Swift. Go, it's it's just craziness. It, it's and totally it's actually insanity. one of it's actually one of Matt's favorite movies. Well, not, well, not favorite one of my yet. favorite movies, but it's a horror movie that I wanted to see in the Exorcist uh, newer Exorcist movie, and they they moved it. So and guess what? Wait, can the I, power of the wait, Swift. Can I, can I do thirteen for a minute? Her thirteenth birthday was December thirteenth, Friday the thirteenth. For nine, the picture that she used for nineteen eighty nine was her thirteenth choice. Very interesting. All right. I love it. I listen and, this is good stuff. And whenever she wins a Grammy, she's either sitting in the thirteenth row hmm. or the thirteenth letter of the alphabet, which I don't know. A B C D E F G H I J K L M M. I knew it was M. Because my name's Matt, so I knew it was M. I'm just like A B C D. See, see, I, I, I was letting you go I'm with that. I'm still in school, okay? I'm still in school. Well, I know. Keep it that way. You got to, you got to finish. Speaking of school, did you know a fun fact that you can study Taylor Swift or information about Taylor Swift at a university, a college? So the Clive Davis Institute, in New York. I'm going there. I don't has a don't, course that focuses on the career and cultural impact of Taylor. I'm going there. I'm going. I don't. Well, I'm mom's going from New there. York, and you're already in New York, so you might as well just take the course. Maybe a summer course. You could do a summer uh, college course. I'm not going to summer school. Excuse me. Oh no! All right. I, you want to go so bad? No, you don't want to go. No, I'm still. No, if it's about Taylor Swift, I'll go. But I'm not doing summer school. All right. All right. Ugh. Anywho, what she says about Scooter Braun. <laughs> so tell me some other stuff. She's actually speaking of movies. We were talking about movies as well. She's acted or she's been in TV shows and movies and, and um, actually she was a voice actress on uh, one of the, the Lorax. The Lorax, yep, that, yep, that's the one. She was on New Girl, an episode of New Girl, a TV show. Um, looks like uh, she was on Crime Scene, uh, CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Cats um, and The Giver. It, actually, wait, The Giver, really? So Cats, she sang a song and, well, she didn't sing it, she wrote it and sang it and then th- someone else actually saying it for the movie but the giver really i'm i'm gonna be reading that in school i just started school so we haven't started reading yet but i'm gonna be reading that in school so when i finish we can watch the movie when i finish the book we can watch the movie and i can see taylor swift in it and there's she's been in something else that it's actually not on here she's been in um hannah montana the a movie a movie of oh. like the movie when she was, when and she was younger, that has country roots because when she was young, Cyrus and yeah. her dad. When she was, when she was, she actually sang country. It, it was when she was younger don't and didn't break my heart. My achy break heart. heart. I just don't think you'll understand. <laughs> that's her. That's her dad. Not not Miley Taylor's Cyrus. Dad. Miley Cyrus. Yeah. You know Miley Cyrus fans are called Smilers. All right, come on. Everybody has a name now. <laughs> what what am I called? I, 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 Matt the oldie. I, 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 I got a bunch of fans outside, so he, you can't hear them right now. No, that, much. that's you. That's, that's you saying, ha. Ah, that's, that's you. <laughs> I sound like a ghost, man. <laughs> or, or, or a sheep or a goat. Ah. <laughs> I actually can do a great no. goat. 
<laughs> I can do a dolphin. We should do a dolphin episode. I can do a dolphin. All right. We digress. <laughs> All right. So I, I'm going to read a couple more things here. We're getting close to time here. So, so she says that Shania Twain, awesome, I love Shania Twain, is her biggest musical influence, country star. However, she's also devoted to Britney Spears, who she loves. So very interesting. That's a kind of a change. And then, oh, yeah, she did actually sing a country song with Star Spangled Banner. She also won a... That, that was at the 76ers game. And then she won a talent competition when she was young, singing Leanne Rhymes' Big Deal. So she, I've actually been to Nashville, which was amazing, and just seeing all the I singer-songwriters I down there. I wish I was. But, but I learned so much down there about how many folks write songs and not just are the singers or you know, the face of the music, but the actual ones who you know, write the music are the amazing talents behind the scenes. And down there in uh, Nashville, it's called the Bluebird Cafe that I've been to. And it looks like here she's where she landed her contract uh, with Scott Braschetta's Big Machine Records. Uh, that place is, is you know, turned out many, many stars. It's a very exclusive club. It's very hard to get in just to get into club to see it. I never mind it, to play I thought there. it was Big Red Machine. It might have been. I, I'm not sure if it, it says here Big Machine. It could be Big Red Machine. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's, I think... Well, we'll look it I'm up. Pretty, I'm pretty sure it's... No, because she did a song with... Uh, there's an artist or a band called Big Red Machine, and she did a song with them That's what it, called Renegade. That's what I'm thinking. Sorry. All right. No worries. Well, she... So, Gar, anyway, the Bluebird Cafe, Garth Brooks, uh, and oh, Taylor Swift scored record deals Just there. so you know, the Renegade is not the Renegade you're thinking of with the dance. It's, it's a different one. I wasn't thinking of a renegade dance, but no. No, but I mean like the people out there, like oh, all right. the famous people that are on TikTok. With yeah, they, they're 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 TikTok famous. They're not famous famous like Taylor. I, ex- exactly, but Taylor Swift is and on. And me, uh, I'm just no, saying. no, you're no? not. You're not famous. Not yet. Well, this is our third episode. We're getting there. I mean, look at the. I mean, we're I'm cli- not we're funny. climbing the charts on Spotify and Amazon Music and Apple Music, aren't we? I, I hope we are, folks. Folks, if you guys can help us climb the charts, then I'll be famous. And then me and Taylor can but I'm, go on I'm, tour. You and Taylor, if, if you guys would Taylor see it, I'm giving, I'm giving him like a, huh? Look, you know. Oh yeah, that is a kind of kind of goofy look. I, I, I guess you don't believe me. Uh, I don't believe you because I would be the one <laughs> hanging out with Taylor Swift. You would be the one hanging out with your other country stars named Tim McGraw, I'll Luke like something, it. another Luke something, Luke Combs, Luke, Luke Bryan. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. No, I thought it was Bryant. All right. You, you, isn't you don't it, mess up my stuff. And wait, isn't th- it Luke Bryant? I'm not answering your question. Or is that a basketball <laughs> player? <laughs> no. There's something Luke in the back. No, it's Luke King or something. No, there was Kobe Bryant, God rest his soul, but uh, he was a basketball player, a famous basketball oh. player. But uh, Are they related? No. No. So, anywho, that's... that's uh, Oh, one other cool thing that you would love is that she started like to develop her fan base on uh, the platform MySpace. You, you have an account, right? MySpace. <laughs> you know. What I mean? So we'll keep uh, we'll keep trucking along. I don't think we have anything else here on our list. So what do you, you mean what? we don't have any? What do you mean we don't have anything else? We have a whole we have a whole book. No. I think we got everything we. Uh, Yes, no. Do you want me to name all of the songs? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're not going to name all the songs, but hopefully this was a fun episode. Mm-hmm. So we get a lot of stuff about Taylor Swift here, some fun facts. and uh, you know. Oh, and if, Taylor, you are watching, you belong listening. with me. Listening, watching, same thing. You belong with me. You belong with me. Standing here, wait. I'm actually not waiting at your back door. That's just a lyric in your song. Obviously, you know that. Yeah, that'd be weird. A lot of Taylor. So we learned, learned a lot of fun facts today. So hopefully everybody enjoyed the show about Taylor Swift. We might come back after she breaks a, a couple of more records and drops some more albums probably in the next three weeks. So anyway. <laughs> I'm just singing so, Taylor Swift now. Well, all right. So we Taylor Swift puns are the I, best. I've been Taylor Swift out today, but, you know, thank you everybody again. I, I can never thank, be Taylor Swift out. I want to thank all of our listeners. Thank you. So, and please, if you can, just uh, let your friends and family know. Uh, you know, we'll be here every week, hopefully releasing new material. We're going to pick different topics. We did animals. We did Taylor Swift. We're going to keep doing, you know, famous people, history, just, just fun facts and different things we we'll learn it? about each week. Next, so. next episode, can we do, um, this really, really, really famous person who's broken a lot of records? Me? No, 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 no. Can I, can I tell you who? Who? Guess who? I don't know. 
Taylor Swift. All right, enough with it. All right, that's it. So we're gonna have to wrap up today. So again, thank you everybody for your uh, your patronage and uh, listen to the show. We truly appreciate we you. Really we really do. We you. really, I really do want to do Taylor Swift next time, but um, Matt probably won't let me. So. Ugh. On that note, thank you everybody again, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.